Senator Johnny Isaacson made a campaign stop in Augusta today. News Channel 6's Ann Maxwell spoke with Isaacson and U.S. Congressman Rick Allen, who was also there about this election cycle. Ann. At a press conference today at Textron, Senator Isaacson spoke of his commitment to supporting business, as well as how this election cycle is different. Senator Isaacson and Congressman Allen are both trying to ride Donald Trump's wave of popularity as they seek re-election this November. After 37 years in government, U.S. Senator Johnny Isaacson is still hitting the campaign trail. Thanks to all the people at Textron for turning out today. He's focusing more on his own campaign rather than on Donald Trump's although he did make it to the Republican National Convention last week in support of the GOP nominee. I was there for six hours, so that was long enough to be excited about meeting all the Georgia people, but nobody else in Cleveland could vote for me, so I came back home to Georgia so I could be in Augusta today. The senior Georgia senator, who is looking to secure a third term on Capitol Hill, accepted an endorsement from the Georgia Chamber of Commerce at Textron in Augusta Monday. Despite rampant anti-establishment sentiment, he says he's proud of his record. And I think you can compare what Johnny Isaacson's done in the last 37 years in government and 35 years running a business in Georgia will stand out good against anybody. Isaacson is up against libertarian Alan Buckley and Democrat Jim Barksdale, who, like Donald Trump, is a millionaire with no prior political experience. Isaacson said he hopes voters choose him, but he encouraged people to vote for who they feel is best. Just don't be one of those voters that sits home and let somebody else make the decision for you. As for Isaacson's decision, he's Team Trump. You're voting for Donald Trump? Got your vote? I support the Republican ticket. I mean, I'm a Republican. It'd be pretty bad not to support the only ticket that you're in. And that's who the voters who are going to vote for me pick, so that's a pretty easy decision. U.S. Congressman Rick Allen, who is also up for re-election, was also at the event. He had stronger words about the presidential race. Folks, vote your conscience, but your conscience needs to be with Donald Trump. Isaacson's stop in Augusta today was part of a two-day tour with the Georgia Chamber of Commerce. Jenny, back to you.